Bring up the bongo. And off we go. Rocky Royal Canal. Now very steady there, not to fall off your bike at all the roots and land in the canal. It's gonna be fast now. A nice flow all the way. It's just weird. <laughs> done, get it done. My god, this was well worth the cycle. The torturous wind. It's a little bit like Roundwood Reservoir, only for a much bigger. So, this is my bike setup. I've got my bivy bag and my uh, sleeping headquarters in there. <laughs> it's got my jack in the bag. I always carry it as a waterproof bag. I've got this Bare, pair of barefoot shoes in there. I have my phone in here. Spare water. Oh, yeah, what's popping out? Water for a case when it does rain. Spare tubes. Maps and an art book to draw sketches. And this is all my clothes to do me for all the time. And this is the cooking materials in here. Oh, look at that. It's a bottle of wine in a wine holder. Oh my god. ready for day two mmm good morning coffee just what I need after a rough night oh, steady idea to press first time in nature <laughs> after seconds later mmm tastes so good just when you really need it after a rough night oh I was cold one feel good and fresh now If you weren't watching that, you could definitely end up back in Dublin. <laughs> Beautiful little cottage, lovely little couple there selling lattes. They have a little trailer, horse box in the backyard. They have a bicycle pump, they got filtered water in the garden. Really nice people. And they have a lovely latte, all for five year with a Cabri Sun. Mmm. Oh well, here we are, 50 kilometers into day two, and I've got a puncher! This is the second tube I put in. I accidentally brought a puncher tube with me. Never try and pump with a small pump. Absolute nightmare, you don't get anywhere. And off we go. And that's the end of our cycle today, 90 kilometers. I'm happy today is over. I mean, I got a puncher. It turned out with the tube I put in was punctured anyway. So now I'm down to one tube. So I'm hoping to be able to buy a new tube in Carrick in the next coming days because now we are going on a kayak and adventure. Things you find in the canals. Catch! Ball! Yeah, right. Not sea kayaking, bushwhacking. Combat kayaking. I can do it all day. Oh, 
no, Bosman. Oh, you want me down, don't you? And you know the ones that come off really easy? Yeah. Are the ones that are ripe? Yeah, and those are the ones that have the tail. Like my ones don't have the tail, white greeny bit in them. Mm -hmm. If they're kind of got blue in there, mm -hmm. there's a worm in them. There's a worm in them, yeah. yeah. Obviously, you pick berries. It's very important you pick the soft ones. The ones that come off the bush easy are the ones that are ripe. The smaller, the wee ones, you can try and pull them, they don't come off as easy. Well, we're still on your donuts. Yeah, super clean, organic. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, sweet. Mm, no more big ones there to eat. Mmm, there's one at the end of the paddle. Oh, I can't reach. Now, this is the other side of it. Do not bend over from your kayak because you will fall in. What do you do? Over yourself in with your paddle, and then it's easy enough to pick out the berries. Very good for your Oh my god, these waves are a nightmare. I want to be one place and I want to go somewhere else. Sometimes it's best to go with the flow. What's she saying now? 54! Stopping and feeling sorry for yourself, you just have to get on with it. <laughs> and the last maybe 70 kilometers all rain. Oh, yes, it is. The pleasures and pains of life. So I was dying for some food, but I can't stop. There's a cafe up here about three kilometers. I won't stop at it because. I'm six kilometers from the, my destination. I'm gonna stop there and die. <laughs> along this beautiful way uh, so now I have to go all the way around up onto the hilly road and onto the boring road main road because you're not allowed to cycle along this way okay let's do this hill I hear the car struggling up the car's even melting on the ground I've got to stand up that's painful I was pulling a wheelie stinky little fucking hill oh my heart rate's high my god, it was a hard hill. <sighs> it's too warm. The tower was melting. There's the ferry coming in now. I've gone 56 kilometers now. Um, and it feels good. Whew, that was a hard bit of a hill. The car where you went up. Look at the castle over there, see? I think today is Friday. Or is it Saturday? Oh shit, maybe it's even Sunday. Mmm, <laughs> am I sure? Everything's getting long. My moustache is getting long. So I have curls. Eyebrows are getting longer. I'm getting skinnier. 
Oh man, look at that, it's this beautiful orange. Everywhere, stunning. One of the best wild camp spots I've had in a long time, right behind this beautiful recycle bottle bank. <laughs> Many ask me all the time, where do you sleep due to on route? And I say, well, sleep whatever you land. It's, it's wild camping. Wild camping is, you find somewhere that's comfortable and safe and um, I mean, I suppose anywhere is comfortable when you're, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm on the grass, I'm, um, I have a mat and I'm in my bivy bag, so I mean, what's not to be comfortable? <coughs> and trust me, after a long day in a saddle, it's actually painful at some stage. When, I mean, when you get to around 80 kilometers, you just want to die. <laughs> Making my coffee on top of a recycling bin. Who would ever think someone made coffee on top of a recycling bin? <laughs> oh, that took what less than one minute. Never a day's trouble coffee. <laughs> Here it comes. Morning coffee on the recycling bin. Give it a store. Oh yeah, that was so nice. Just what I need is not too strong. It's just perfect. Morning coffee. Mmm. Get you up on your bike. Get you going on to Dingle and push all the way. I had an amazing, amazing sleep. I mean, I'll say, how, how do you do you sleep rough in a bivy bag after a 100k cycle? Well, you know, it was a nice, nice spot I had last night for camping. I was really happy with it, to be honest. Whoa, we just cycled up onto this, man. Imagine the My dry bike fell down. <laughs> We always think these things are what happens when we fall down, but we never fall. Like people, like, we all think about these things. Like, probably one of the best sandwiches I've had since I've been on my cycling tour. A homemade, nice little bit of brown bread there, some uh, sliced cheese, and um, it's always great to buy sliced cheese when you're on the cycling tour because I don't have. Uh, this is all I have, it's my spork and it's a little bit of a knife edge there, so it's not really that good for cutting such things uh, like cheese. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It'll do me now until I get to a nicer place and uh, keep my budget below the price I'm paying on the road. Um, to be honest with you, I don't eat, me eat much food anyway, so this will do me grand. Mmm. 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 This is good. Mmm. <laughs> Simplest things in life, and they're most pleasurable things. A lot of people we get used to our comforts, like a bed, and lots of toothpaste. Mm. This is actually really good. Wow, I surprised myself. Missed a bit of pesto, maybe. And look at the scenery. This is good, yeah. I got some juice there now, and I'm ready for day. I got two bottles of fizzy water, which is great because yesterday I had a drought of water. I wasn't shopped for miles, miles. And then when I did find a shop, I wasn't comfortable leaving my bike outside because of a bunch of people outside. I wasn't comfortable leaving my bike outside.
had a lovely sleep last night on the beach. There's a river beside me and I can't get into it. It's so itchy. That's why I never like to see it. Because of sand. And it's gritting all over my bike. New day today. Very, very hard day yesterday. Long day in the saddle, 10 hours. I have all sorts of blisters on my bum. It's not pleasurable to sit on the next day. My wrists are swollen from holding the bars. A lot going on. A new journey today. Body's in a jock. I'm cycling any gear most of the time, I'm not going anyway fast. I'm happy there's a cycle lane here, it's my first cycle lane since I left Dublin City. Heading to Dingle now, where I have to make the big decision is Dingle my last destination because my body is fairly tired and my bottom bracket is talking to me. Um, so I know there's no like trains from Dingle, but uh, there's always buses. So we will make that decision when we get there. I did a lot of mileage. It's tiring in this heat. I'm sick of cycle. <laughs> did I just did I just say that? No, but it's hard. It's very hard. There's nothing easy, easy about a cycle to run. Especially the heat. Ah. Come on, Jay, don't give up. Oh. Kiss pimples all over my body. I'm dripping sweat. I'm stinky. Oh, oh this feels a nightmare. Famous t shirt I've been wearing for god knows how long now. And maize and cotton never smells. But my god, look at the salt marks. Wow. <laughs> so I've been wearing a rucksack. Small little backpack. Oh my god. Look at the back of it. I love his t shirt a bits. <laughs> salt. It's been so hot, it's even rubbed off all the names of places they played. Man, look at them salt marks. Body must be so dehydrated. Look at that, it's a big one. Wouldn't even get that running an ultra. But obviously the backpack was here, so it's clear. Wow.
day and your last day of your healing adventure? I'll never be healed, Vanessa. I'll always have a memory. But I'm so way better than I used to be four weeks ago. Yeah, you sure are. What a beautiful sky, though, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. What a way. I think that patch 